Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah speaking, and this is a coloring book review for Secret Tokyo. It is one of the Color Your Way to Calm series books. They also have Secret New York and Secret Paris. I think that there's one more book out um, or coming out soon. I do not remember what that is called. Um, anyway, this is a flip through for this particular book. And the dimensions of the book here are um, almost 10 inches by almost 10 inches. Um, it's like 9 and 3 fourths, something like that, um, inches square. Um, this is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. Oh, here we go. Uh, Splendid Cities. Secret Paris, Secret New York, and there is another one, see, uh, Splendid Towns or something like that. Um, so, so there's five in the series. Here is the thickness of the book, right there. And here is the spine. This is a glue-bound book. Bluebound books are just a little bit harder to open that spine up completely. Um, one thing I did notice right off, uh, the paper quality in this book is printer paper, um, low quality printer paper, um, paper, um, copy paper, printer paper, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I noticed the front cover was done in almost a watercolor look. Watercolor will not work on this book. The pages are simply too thin. I don't care if you use the littlest bit of water on these pages. It's not going to work. It will wrinkle up and it will um, start getting those little balls on the top of it that you just don't want. So this would be good for colored pencils, crayons. I don't even think I would use gel pens on this paper, which is unfortunate because some of the pictures are pretty cool. And I think gel pens would look really neat on them. So let me start this flip through. The front cover and I believe the back cover both have the flip flop, flip flop design on them. This is the first in the series that I have. Um, I'm hoping to get the rest of them. I really like um, getting books that are in the complete series, just having them. So I'm hoping to get those relatively soon, and when I do, I will make a review for those as well. Um, these are colored pencils, and these were not done by me. Um, they were done by a younger child in the household. I noticed on the pages there's like one page that has stuff on it and the back side of that page, um, well of course this is going to prove me wrong, um, has some kind of design on it um, like this. So I mean if you wanted to use alcohol based markers, um, felt tip pens or gel pens, if you don't care about coloring the pattern type of thing and you would rather color like the city or the picture that, that's on the other side, that would work out too. Like here's a pattern on the side and here's the city. Um, so I think most of these pages are like that. To me, it would have made more sense to just do it one-sided um, the pages one sided where the back side would be empty and um, not even have the patterns in the book because they don't 
some of them don't really go along with the book at all. I think they were just kind of like like this one. It, like it's not, I don't feel like it goes along with the book. It, they just kind of threw it in there. And this one, I mean, it's just kind of thrown in here like they, they needed to think up a pattern really quick. So they, they just made some lines on the page. And then the back of the book has um, all the pictures that are in it. Um, it I don't, again, I don't understand why there's not a hidden picture game in here. There's not um, find these objects and this is the answer key or anything. Um, it doesn't even tell about the photos like some books do in the back where there's pages like this. Like this, they would have a little paragraph under here about you know, where this was done at or what street it was on or what inspired them to do that. A little blurb about something about the picture, but this book doesn't, doesn't have that either. So I was a little confused as to why they even added this part in the book. So that is Secret Tokyo, Color Your Way to Calm. And let me zoom in here on the artist. There you go. So, thank you for watching and happy coloring.